life more. Two things changed my life so much this year. And the first one was going on autoimmune protocol. And the other one was getting really back into the law of attraction. Hey everybody, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Amy Lee Foster and here we talk about all things love attraction, personal development, and self-love. Self-love is a giant one today, but before we get into that, if you enjoy these videos, if you like what I have to say, and if you have any questions about AI Plea, leave a comment down below, hit like, and please subscribe. So as I was saying, self-love, a giant topic for the day because I don't think anything is a bigger act of self-love than jumping on the AIP bandwagon and really starting to take care of yourself. So this video goes out to all of you that are suffering from chronic illnesses out there, Hashimoto's, Graves' disease, psoriasis, any of the zillion different types of uh, autoimmune conditions, you may very well be thinking about hopping on uh, some sort of diet for the new year. And I would encourage you, if you're suffering from one of these conditions, to take control and step into the world of autoimmune protocol because it has 100% absolutely changed my life for the better. That and the law of attraction really have made a drastic, drastic change in the quality of my life over the past year. And I just wanted to like scream from the mountaintops and tell everybody like, please get on this. You're gonna, you're gonna love your life so much more. I will say, gosh, the quality of my life is so much better. So let me just, shh, I'm gonna go into it just a little bit. So for all of you that don't know what AIP is, it is a, pretty drastic elimination diet. So basically you cut out every single thing that is allergenic. It's an incredibly hypoallergenic diet. So you go down to basically fresh meats, seafoods, uh, vegetables that aren't nightshades. You can eat fruit, um, not berries, sorry oils, like natural oils, like avocado oil, olive oil, coconut oil. And basically you cut out everything else for a while. Uh, you want to get rid of all grains, legumes, sugar, uh, nightshades, nuts, seeds, anything that says natural flavors, and basically really pare everything down. So you stay really strict, like really strict for I, I personally recommend three months. Definitely did not feel major changes until the end of month two. And then the magic really started to happen. Uh, a lot of the inflammation left my body. I started losing weight really rapidly. I was super, super, super inflamed. I've lost 50 pounds. That was a wonderful side benefit. I'm very, very happy to have lost 50 pounds, but that was definitely not the reason I got got started on all of this. I don't know about any of you who are out there with thyroidism, hypothyroidism, but you definitely know that it's super hard to lose weight. So I basically <sighs> thrown in the towel and just thought I was always going to be fat because of my hormones. I, had eat, I did eat pretty healthy before, but it was completely not the way that my body was supposed to be eating at all. And I never thought that making a change in my food, um, food, sleep, in the way that I take care of myself would have such a drastic effect on my overall, overall well-being. So I'm actually going to put in a picture right now that is my before, right around the time where I started to get Graves' disease. And then I will put a picture of my current um, from a couple of months ago. So you can just see the drastic difference right here. You can see in my face that there was so much inflammation. I had so much inflammation around my eyes. I mean, I still, I'm still working on my healing journey personally. I've had so many crazy benefits from going on this diet. My brain fog has really cleared up. So recently my doctor actually had me read a book called The Functional Approach to hypothyroidism. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. 
I think it's by Kenneth, Dr. Kenneth Blanchard, and I'm going to put a link be down below for that too. It's actually really interesting read. It's super short, and um, he talks about a lot of the unknown symptoms of hypothyroidism, things that you really would never even think are related. So I before had such intense motion sickness that I couldn't sit in a rocking chair and I could not sit on a swing and even like move just a little like this, you know, like, cause I would get so sick. I couldn't sit in the back seat of a car. And since I have been on this diet and my medication is much more regulated, I have basically greatly, greatly reduced my motion sickness. So I can sit in a rocking chair now. I don't know about a swing. I haven't gone to a park in a while. I sat in the back seat of a car the other day and I was a little nauseous, but it wasn't anywhere near close to how it used to be. So major improvement there, never saw that coming. Never even thought about it until I had read that book. Some of the other things he talks about that are um, symptomatic of hypothyroidism, depression. I'm seriously on top of the world every single day right now. Granted, we mess around with my, my medicine doses. I actually get my blood taken every single month because my situation is so precarious. If I go back into hyper, we don't want to stimulate the thyroid eye disease. If I am not taking enough, I'll go back into hypo. We're just really working to keep me at a happy, happy medium and at the same time to continue to heal my gut and to reduce the inflammation. So major changes over the past year. It's been absolutely incredible. Brain fog has greatly diminished. My depression, brain fog, um, my obsession with food and binge eating and unhealthy relationship with food is completely gone. But every single day I get better and I personally am really dedicating myself for this year to 100% try to heal myself. So I am upping all of my fruits and veggies. I am getting really on it. I am trying to switch to an even more healthy diet because basically I don't want to be on this roller coaster for any, any longer than I have to be. I would love to eat a piece of pizza. I probably never will be able to eat a piece of pizza eat a piece of pizza again, but you know, I would, I would love to expand my uh, diet just a little bit more, but I just am literally dancing on a cloud and want to express to all of you how much autoimmune protocol has 100% changed my life. And if you are thinking about doing it this year, kicking off the new year with a bang and really, really taking care of your health, then I could not be more excited for you. If you want any help, any encouragement, please reach out to me down below. I would love to be buddies. And you know, I've been going through this for a year. I will answer any questions you have about it. So uh, just leave me a message down below. All right, all of you have a wonderful day. Happy new year. Take care. If you like what I have to say, please hit subscribe. And I can't wait to see you in a couple of days with another video. Take care.